Hello everybody and welcome to Milestone Study. My name is Anusha and in this video we are going to talk about repeat sentences. So repeat sentences is one of the types of questions in the speaking section in PTE. I hope you guys know about it. If you don't then I've got a full video of uh, repeat sentences and the PT format. Uh, if you are a beginner, do watch that before watching this video. All right, now for repeat sentences, we've got two ways. One is just using your memory. Another is using initials. Initials means the first letter of each word. Depending on your personality, on the level you are at, uh, you might choose either initials or the memory method. Uh, I would prefer both, the blend of both. So I would write a little bit of initials and then the rest of it, the maybe the last part, I'm going to remember. Uh, so I will demonstrate the way I do in the exam so that you can learn as well. So we're going to play the first, we're going to play actually 10 to 12 sentences like in the exam and I'm going to perform like I do in the exam, okay? In the exam we are given a separate notebook like uh, the, uh, what is that called, erasable notepad and a marker to write with but I'm going to use the board for now. Okay, so the first audio. Our group is meeting tomorrow in the library conference room. Our group is meeting tomorrow in the library conference room. There you go. So that was a perfect 10 out of 10. Uh, similarly, let's go for the next one. The concepts in this thesis were not new. The concepts in this thesis were not new. Um, so some people will say this was very short. You don't need initials for this, but it's my habit that I have to write something so that it talks to me, the letters talk to me, uh, and I can say it with confidence. My tutorial class will begin at the next Monday's morning. My tutorial class will begin at the next week's Monday morning. At the next week's Monday morning, they did not say the word week. Uh, I just added it. So adding does not give you any negative marking, which is a plus point. The English word typhoon comes from the Chinese word big wind. The English word typhoon comes from the Chinese word big wind. I had to struggle a little bit. I had to like go back to that audio. So I took a little bit time. Um, still, it's considered fluent. The lecture on child psychology has been postponed until Friday. The lecture on child psychology has been postponed until Friday. Yeah, another perfect one. Essays should be typed with double space in white paper. Essays should be typed with double space in white paper. Okay, there we go. Next one. The Romans left in 410 in the beginning of the 5th century. The Romans left in 410 from the beginning of the 5th century. Okay, so it was not from the beginning. Mm, I, it was in the beginning actually. Uh, but with the flow, I was not supposed to stop. So just maintain the flow. Elephant is the largest mammal on the land. Elephant is the largest mammal on the land. Again, you, this is not something you have to take initials for. Mm, but again, my habit. Much of his research objectives are driven by his natural curiosity and instincts. Much of his natural instinct are driven by curiosity and instinct. Okay, so it was a natural, uh, I think it was objective, research objective, but I uh, see, and my initials were not also perfect. So the, because the initials were not perfect, uh, it was hard for me to remind myself and then say it at the same time. Uh -huh. Okay, so for this performance, I'm not going to give myself 90 by 90, but definitely 80 plus uh, towards 85. Okay, uh, the computer is uh, going to give me 90 anyhow, but for myself, according to me, this performance was 85, but the computer is going to be uh, giving me 90. Okay, guys, so this is how you get 90 out of 90 in repeat sentences as well and with pronunciation, proper pronunciation, proper clarity without making any mistakes. That's it, guys, for today. I'll see you in the next video uh, with Describe Image and Retail Lecture.